Ukrainians in Kyiv view an exposition of destroyed Russian military equipment, another scene of solidarity since Russia began its full-scale invasion of the country. Ordinary Ukrainians have put out massive support through humanitarian and charity drives. Now, in the latest national fundraising effort, Ukrainians have raised money to buy a satellite for their army. In June 2022, a charity foundation started by Surhi Pritula, a famous TV personality, announced what it said was the biggest fundraising campaign in Ukrainian history. The goal? To collect $16 million to buy three Turkish-made Bayraktar drones for the Ukrainian army. Ukrainians managed to collect the full amount in fewer than three days. Children, seniors and businesses participated in the campaign. Executives at the Turkish defense company Baykar were so touched by the display of solidarity, they decided to give the drones to Ukraine for free. In a statement, company officials said, Baykar will not accept payment for the TB2s and will send three UAVs free of charge to the Ukrainian war front. We ask that raised funds be remitted instead to the struggling people of Ukraine. The money was then earmarked for the purchase of much-needed satellite for Ukraine's army intelligence. Ukrainian officials are now preparing to close a deal to purchase a satellite already in orbit from its Finnish owners. In this case, it's not only about drones or about satellite, it's about unity, about uh, our needs. Uh, we, just, we just want to live like a nation, like a state, and that's why uh, it's really cool that all society was uh, united mm, by this case. Little kids, old people, uh, celebrity stars, uh, uh, business, and all donate for this project. Uh, and after that, that was possibility to, to buy uh, this satellite. Two of the donors include 11-year-old Serhi and 10-year-old David. The two friends picked cherries in Serhi's grandparents' garden and sold them to collect money for the cause. We went to pick cherries. Our parents suggested the idea to sell cherries. And we agreed because we need to help Ukraine. We need to help our armed forces. We are not adults yet, but we are already helping the army. And we know that when we are older, we will help them in the same way. The so-called People's Satellite will be owned by the Ukrainian state as the nation continues to unite against Russia's war. Anna Chernikova for VOE News, Kyiv.